How's it going, everybody? Well, things have happened quite a bit here in the last week, especially as far as the presidential race goes. There's something I want to show you. There's a meme going across Facebook about Mr. Bloomberg and him dropping out of his campaign. I call him Blunderberg because I think his whole campaign was nothing but a big blunder to begin with. And also, Miss Warren, a.k.a. Pocahontas, is out. Amy, <clears throat> Amy Klobuchar from my state is all, she's out. And Pete Buddha Gig or whatever, I don't know, the, the gay guy, yeah, he's out too. So, but there's the one, one thing I wanted to show you about that kind of relates to my uh, last video I made. So if you've seen this meme going across Bookface, and I'll, there we go, focus. Yep, that's kind of how I feel. So, screw you, Mike, for bashing farmers. And now, on with what I want, what I want to talk about today. But before we get on with Brazil, I also want to mention that out of all the, well, I mean, all the Democratic Democratic candidates are a bunch of whack jobs. The only one I thought it was the most moderate was Amy Klobuchar, but. She's out. And to be all honestly, I kind of want Bernie Sanders to get the nomination just because Trump can squash him like a bug so easy. Biden gets it. He's going to have a little more of a run for his money. But um, I guess I'm going to come on and say, yes, I do support President Trump. He has done a lot of good for this country, despite him being kind of a loud mouth and blowhard. Um, he has done a lot of good for this country. I have a couple gripes about President Trump, and one is him being on Twitter. Sometimes he's kind of making the situation a little worse. That's just my opinion. And the second thing that is what I want to talk about in, for this video is um, this past week, I don't know if anybody is paying attention. There has been a little bit of media coverage about it, but um, Brazil is back to importing their beef into the United States. And I find that, you know, a little bit bothersome because we raise enough beef in the United States. We shouldn't have to import any meat from anywhere. So anyway, let's recap here for a moment. Back in 2017, um, Brazil was cut off from importing beef into the U.S. due to, um, oh, there's my pizza, uh, due to quality issues and food safety concerns. And from what I understand that at that time, Brazil does not share the same quality and food safety standards that the United States has. So therefore, the meat that they were importing was questionable as far as, you know, for disease and so forth. And I was quite happy when that happened because, like I said earlier, that the United States should not have to import beef or pork or chicken from any outside source because, you know, we raise enough of that here in this country. So we shouldn't have to. But I, I, I am assuming it's a part of a trade agreement, you know, you know, it's kind of like a marriage where you have to give and take type of thing. So, um, yeah, so here in the last week, the Trump administration lifted the ban on Brazil's beef and it's starting to, going to start coming back into the country. What I find disheartening about it is that I read somewhere, I'm trying to find the article again, where a one of the big Brazilian pack house guys is being interviewed and then uh, if I re remember reading it correctly that the guy stated they're hoping to, to disrupt the U.S. beef industry and uh, you know I find that a little bit concerning because you know my family is a beef producer I want myself want to continue to be a beef producer going forward and when shit like this starts happening you know it's a little cause for concern. 
Okay, sorry for the interruption. I wanted to try to find that article again, but I couldn't find it. So, anyway, so with that being said about Brazilian beef coming back into the country, I hope that Congress uh, re implements the country origin of labeling or cool as it's called so that consumers know that hey they, they're buying US beef or imported beef and I would like to encourage those to buy American beef beef that comes from farmers and ranchers like myself and my family I had to turn the light on because it was starting to get dark in here but anyway I'm going to be kind of start watching the markets now and see if they're going to tank if they haven't tanked already because I presume that once uh, the B Brazilian beef does start importing again, the market's going to go down again. So I'll kind of keep an eye on that. So, but anyway, I want to encourage you to buy American beef and support beef producers like myself and my family and all the other ones across our great nation and uh thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one take care